Hey everybody, a few weeks ago I did my first webinar on the client attraction strategy that we deliver and show people how they can draw more people to their business, more clients coming to them to buy from them, to procure their services. So this is a really cool strategy, I've been using it for a number of years. And I just want to give you an intro so that you, when the webinar is re-released, we're moving webinar software around at the moment. When it's released, you'll get to see it and really get to dig into it. Because one of my sins, as some people have said to me, is I give a ton of stuff away and I should hold some back to sell more stuff. Uh, but I love giving value away and hopefully you can appreciate it. And if what I give away free really works for you, please sign up. And I'll one to one with you or we'll put you into a group event where we'll literally walk this through and show you how to practically implement it. So I'm just going to tell you, give you a flavor of what we talk about. And then you can decide, is this for me? Is it not for me? Do I want more clients? Um, I came to this primarily because I hated selling. I hated cold calling. I hated going meeting people. I wanted a way to bring people to me. And that's really what we've developed. And this is what it's about. It doesn't mean you don't do any work. It means you actually work harder, but you actually see the clients coming to you. And anybody can do this, but there is a bit of work involved at the front end to figure this all out and put it all together. So I'm just going to walk you through a few slides from our presentation. And I've refined it a little bit because some of you said that I went into too much detail uh, too quickly. So I've refined it a little bit to give you an overview, a 30,000 foot view, and then we can break down into more detail. So um, the client attraction strategy, where do we start? So uh, attract more clients in the next 90 days than most people do in a year. When you really sing as a business, when you can really get your message out there really clearly and demonstrate the value you can bring, People want to know more and you will get more inbound inquiries. You will get more people messaging you, more people emailing you, more people phoning you up just because you've hit a nerve which touches a, an issue that people have. So um, it is a very, very successful route. It, it outperforms all the other statistics, all the other channels because it's a multi-channel approach. But it's based on the premises of creating the demand, creating the interest and bringing people to you. So, uh, you know, uh, this this is uh, the client attraction strategy is brilliant for people who hate selling or don't want to get their hands dirty with selling. They want to be relational and don't want to have to have that pushy feel to it. Now, uh, not all sales is about being pushy. Uh, but what we do do is we we associate sales and pushiness and sales and and, uh, you know, that dirty stuff. So uh, this is a very hands-off approach, very relational, very chilled out uh, approach to sales. So this is what the client's strategy is about. Um, do you want to eliminate yo-yo sales? Most businesses go through this up and down, up and down, up and down. And uh, to some degree, you know, business is seasonal. Things go up in, in, the, in certain times and down in other times. Uh, a lot of businesses follow the trends of school holidays. Um, but it shouldn't be a kind of boom and bust mentality. It shouldn't be a boom and bust experience. Uh, and that comes down to stopping this scrambling like crazy people and saying, right, we're going to build now for the next two to three years. And this is what we need to do. And this is how we're going to do it. And then implementing it every day, step by step, a little bit every day pushes you forward, pushes you forward. And it may well be that you reap the reward of that in uh, three days or three months, but it works hands down. So this is what it's all about. So if you want to eliminate the yo-yo-ness of your business, this is what you need to put in place. What else? Do you want to close the gap between chasing and choosing clients? There's nothing worse than chasing clients because you need the business. Um, it's a weak position to be in, but more so than that, it's actually an unhealthy position to be in. You should have the ability to choose who you're going to work with. The only time that we can't choose is when our backs are up against the wall, when we've not done the work to draw the clients in and suddenly we need to plug a hole. So do you want to keep chasing? Do you want to close the gap between where you are now chasing clients or do you want to choose the people you want to work with? It's not a miracle cure. There's no such thing as a miracle cure, but this is if you want things to be different, you have to intentionally make things different. So this is what this is about. And then uh, do you want to close the, 
to close the end of feast and famine. Do you want to uh, get to the over the feast and famine? This is for you. So um, I have put this all together because it works for me. Um, and I want to share it with you. And if you want some help putting this into place in your business, I'll help you. So uh, the webinar is free if you want to book in for the next one. Uh, and we will show you how this works at a 30,000 foot view. And some of you will go away and, and do that. And if you want hand holding through that process, you want kind of a bit of healthy challenge through that process, I'll do it with you. So uh, that's it from me. Just to say, if you want to be to know more about the client attraction strategy and how you put it into your business, drop me a line. I don't bite, but I will give you a, a strong, healthy challenge about how this can work for you and how implementing it with discipline on yourself to see it through. It can really yield long term, stabilizing and successful results for your business.